we put 23 years into one video. Three chapters, really easy. Chapter one, hospitality, given the customer experience and letting that generate sales. Chapter two, the flower industry. 15 years of flowers, traveling around the world, having great sushi with clients in Japan and doing great strategies with customers in Holland all the way to the US. Chapter three, coaching, training, and consulting. This is the year of growth. This is the chapter where everything changed. It's self-awareness, it's training on the things that work, stop doing the things that not working, and building the best tools for this industry. This is not a training program where your people are gonna have to dance or walk around or do crazy stuff. This is about clarity and focus. So these are short modules, straight to the point. What do you need to train on? Well, hi everyone. Welcome to this live session, our first live session with Bart David here. Hi Bart, what a pleasure to have you with us this afternoon and welcome everybody. As a representative of the Escuela de Floricultura Expo Flores and in name of Bart from The Flower Cure, we welcome you to this, our first live session. We have a big surprise for you guys. After a background check with the flower buyers and your flower farms, we have come with a solution to enhance your sales team. We want to create strong bonds, trust, and better your experience with the flower buyers to get to achieve your goals. Right, Bart? Definitely. That's why we're bringing the sales experience, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah, and after a due diligence we did, we came out that with Bart is the guy for you guys. Uh, Bart has more than five years of experience with coaching, 25, 23 years of experience in the business world, and more than 3,000 people coached by him. He has great knowledge on the real estate industry, on hospitality, and with the flower sector, which we found as a great added value to this training. And well, having said this, uh, with a lot of joy and excitement, uh, we introduce you to the... The sales experience, cultivating strategies that bloom. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're sure this is a great and unique opportunity, and we do hope that your team takes advantage of it. Uh, we will bring excellence and support from the Escuela de Floricultura along the process. And don't forget to subscribe and we don't want you to miss out. So, well, now let's start with some questions, Bart. Are you up to it? Yeah, but first let me just thank you guys, everybody at Expo Flores, um, for doing a great job. I think it's awesome. Thanks to you, Juan, Fred, and, and everybody in the team. I, I'm really surprised to see how big of a backup you have and a backup book. I would say in um, in Expo Flores. So congratulations for that, and thank you uh, for having me here today. I'm excited, like a little kid today, because this is a pretty cool um, program we're bringing out on the market. So thanks for having me. The same goes to you, Bart. So, so well, how we can start? With, what? So go ahead and shoot. Let's go. <laughs> so Bart, tell us a little bit more, a little about your experience, about yourself. Why did you start coaching? All right. So. Let, let me keep this long story short, right? Um, let, let me keep that short. When I was a small kid, when I was eight, um, I love to do experiences. I, I love to give experiences to people. I used to dress up like a little waiter in the house and I, I love to serve people and, and give them that wow experience. And while I grew up, I went into the restaurant industry. I ended up having a restaurant and a club. I did events and stuff like that. And it was always focused on the experience. Um, but going back to your coaching question, the reason I dived into that, because when I, I think it was in, in Miami in um, 1996, I bumped into a beautiful Latin girl, right, which is my wife today, and she gave me two beautiful kids, and that changed the, the entire trajectory of my life, right, and when I dove into the flower business in Ecuador, I realized that the best experience you can give in life, or to give to other people, or for yourself, is the experience of growth. And when I started understanding that really deeply, I decided to go coach and uh, do a coaching course in Chicago. And I just realized like this was going to be the next chapter of my life. 
Now, in order to write new chapters, you have to close other chapters. So I decided to close some other chapters in life and start this new chapter, which is bringing out the best in people. And, and as a kid, I always wanted to be this talent manager for artists. And now I end up becoming this talent manager, talent coach, talent trainer, right? And that's pretty awesome because like I say again, the best experience in life is growth. That's right. I totally, I couldn't agree more. And coming back a little bit more to this industry, to your experience with a lot of industries, can you tell us a little bit more on the hospitality the time or the a real estate or even the flower sector? Yeah, well, good question. The, the thing is that what makes this program special, right, is the perspectives from different industries. So having been privileged, I would say, to be in the hospitality industry, to be in the flower industry, but also work with insurance industry, hotel industry, and all these different industries. You all come to see at the end of the day, it's all about the customer experience, right? And what I realized is there's a lot of things related to that, from communication to company culture, to people not even listening to what their customers are saying because they're just thinking of what they want to answer. So I started diving deeper into that, but if I can go and say it into one word, I would say that some people don't want it bad enough and others, they really want it. And when people really want it, it's because the entire culture wants it. That's like the, the big observation that I've seen. Like if you're not willing to grow, you can't grow. That's true. That, that makes a difference at the end, right? Yeah, definitely. And in the flower industry, sometimes we think we're so, such a different species but, you know, everybody has the very similar problems that we have in this industry, whether it's supply and demand, whether it's price and everything. And I believe one of the big differences in the flower industry is that we're not training with the right frequency, right? We say we want the results really bad. We want the industry to go forward and to set new standards. But at the end of the day, when you look at how often we train or what skills we're bringing to our teams, we do it once a month, once a week. Some companies do it once a year, once every six months. And that's a different shift from what I see in the other industries. If you look at insurance, they have simulations 15 minutes a day. If you look at the hotel industry or restaurant industry, if you look at the one-star restaurants, two-star restaurants, they do simulations of 15 minutes every day before they start service, right? Yet here we don't have that culture. So I would say that it's time for Ecuador in this new decade to shift into a training culture. And I believe this connects a lot with my second, my third question. Sorry for that. Uh, you talk a lot when we were meeting before uh, about a six star ideology, redefining standards. Uh, can you tell the public about this? Yeah. Well, actually, in my language, in my daily language for the customers that have been around me, they, they know this six star as the wow factor, right? Mm -hmm. And actually, what the wow factor does, first of all, it makes you dream big, right? But what it does, it, it makes you become a better human, a better person. Because when you set standards so high, it's not about those standards because you'll reach them. It's about who you have to become to reach those standards, right? And that's where that growth and, and that interest and curiosity and discovery and exploration comes in. And that's when people are alive. Like as a little kid, we were all curious, right? And we get older and everybody tells us like, hey, don't, don't ask so many questions anymore. So we lose that curiosity on, on the way right? But when you bring out big dreams and you start dreaming big again, like when you were a child, right? And you do that in business, you set new standards which makes everybody grow in the company, not just your sales team, not just the, the leadership team, but everybody is playing at another level. So that's the coolest thing about the wow factor or the six star. That's great. And well, yeah, it, and I, I believe your course, uh, your training sessions are all based on your, on your beliefs, uh, they are really strong and powerful. So I, I would like to share some of, some of this, some of the syllabus with the people who are visiting us in this live session today. Yeah, sure. Are but you? before, sorry, but before we share it, I think it's important to see like where the syllabus comes from, right? So mm -hmm. it's not only based on my experience, it's based on the experience of the customers we work with without giving confidential information because I'm really like, I stick to confidentiality, by the way. But... I've been able to see like, okay, when we apply this, is this working? So I've been testing along these five years of coaching, a lot of different things, right? And you have to do that. You have to stretch the limits. You have to go out of the box and try things and then see if that works or doesn't. And what that has allowed us, especially in this pandemic, especially for me personally, I would say, like I had this 
three months of clarity in the first pandemic because a lot of people were scared and some coaching did get canceled. Some other people continued investing in their people, but that's normal, right? So I had a time of clarity to be like, okay, what really worked? What needs to be polished? What needs to be left out? And going back to the syllabus, we came up with the best coachings based on sales, customer service, customer experience, and we put that all into an online program. Now, that online program is not like whatever online program, like the whole team of Expo Flores already see, you, you all saw how it worked, right? It's, it's like a zero friction experience. That's what we were looking for. Like, how could you almost want to binge watch your training like you do on Netflix? How can we create that? So we had a crazy amount of people helping us out with that, right? We have people in Berlin, we have people in North America, even in Canada helping us out with that because this is all pretty new and frustrating sometimes to me myself. But we really looked for, if we're gonna talk about the sales experience, we needed to look at the student experience, the training experience. And I think the whole team did a really great job so what we're going to see now, the syllabus, is all very short, right, modules or training programs, I would say, but they're short, they're straight to the point, they have a lot of action tools, and, well, if you want to know more, you'll have to sign up, but bring up the syllabus. I'm really excited. Let's see it. All right, so, so I'll, I'll, I'll read very quick through because what I want to do after the syllabus, I want to do a Q&A so we can get some questions and see some comments from people. Okay. Um, and I'll, I won't go through all of them, but you know, we have self-awareness, we have culture basics, like some people don't know where their culture is. Some people say, I don't have a good culture. Well, okay, let's understand what type of culture it is. And we started doing the culture thing a while ago, but over the last three months, we took that to a whole new level. So that's very interesting because you can't improve what you don't measure. So we have, along with the culture basics, we have the business evaluation, we have the sales and style, uh, something people don't pay attention to. The sales style of, of your team, the sales style of your company, and the sales style of every individual. Then we go into frictionless, pretty much what we've created in the course. If we're gonna create a frictionless course, we have to go into the frictionless economy. I think in a newsletter a while ago, I wrote about this. It is really important. There is still so much friction in the flower industry and some other industries as well, but friction that, you know, it's 2020, that friction shouldn't be there anymore. So we've made something on that. We have the sales process, measure what matters, which we measure the OKRs. Um, we go to the power of speed, really important trust and how to build reputation with the clients and, and how to fix trust when, when you messed up because we're in flowers. There might be a day that you can't complete that box or that order, right? But we need to get better at that. I would say we need to get pro at handling objections when that comes to place. Um, customer avatars, we have a training program which is start, stop, improve, learn, and optimize, um, which is organize and optimize. Then we go to the second page. By the way, the, the syllabus and the module is divided in three chapters. Every chapter has a Q&A through Zoom where everybody on the program, they can come up and they can ask questions. And something special that I'm offering today because we're on this course too, is you also get access for the people that signed up by the end of this month, they also get access to my email and to my WhatsApp for whatever question they have. And I do that with a lot of coaches and especially in the last three months. And that access to me is really easy because they, they wanna know something, they send a message and I reply you know, whenever I'm out of a session. So let's shift into the second page. Uh, we, we don't have it here right now, Bart, but I couldn't help okay. noticing. But, but let me just read it really quick, right? Because I have the whole syllabus here too. And sure. I pretty much let's know do it in my head right now. But we have the sales habits. We have the three E ambassadors. We have power team course, customize to optimize. Like the future of customization is real, but how do you optimize that for a customer experience? Um, we have massive value, we have ask and listen, pretty much like a communication course, but at an all different perspective. Because when I talk about communication, people are like, yeah, I've been there, done that. Like this is not filler training. I wrote that in my newsletter yesterday, I think. Filler training is where people make you like walk around and do this and play around and dance. This is straight to the point content, right? We know exactly with the pain points of the industry. Why? Because We've been there for 15 years. We understand the inside out. We failed and we've had successes and we learned from all of them, right? So we're bringing you only the best. Um, massive value, ask and listen, flipping objections. 
I'm crazy to see like how amateur sometimes we are. And, and while some might be pro at flipping the objections, like somebody gives you an objection, ob objection, like, oh, the market is really bad right now. And we don't really train our team how to answer to that. Right. But with it being natural, not things that, you know, it's like a script, not that type of style. The follow through, the good news burgers um, fits, which is frequency, intensity, and time. Then we go to a course, which is educating our co customers, because if we're educating the team, how do we ed educate the customers, right? Mm -hmm. We have attitude, and then we go in the third chapter, and that's really where we go deep. This is like the, the master class of sales for the flower industry. Um, the art of sales, price and value, the biggest thing we have in this industry is price and value. And the reason why we built this course is to get everybody playing by the same rules. What do I mean with that? You can't play a soccer game with the rules of basketball and the rules of soccer on the same field. It doesn't work. So that's going to allow us, the more people we get to sign up on this course, everybody starts playing by the same game. And who knows, maybe the flower cure at one point start doing benchmark on pricing for the markets. There are a lot of things can come out of this, right? So then we have experience, right? That's like the, the, the sushi master class of the sushi master, that's the one for salespeople, right? Like given that experience that people are not buying the flowers anymore because we have like really good quality in Ecuador, right? But I still know that some other companies are really great at service and we're not at that level. So what if we bring the customer experience to a whole other level and people buy the quality, but they also buy the experience. There's another three or four cents over there. And how much is that? depending on what size of farm you have, maybe that's a billion dollars in the next decade, maybe that's $15 million. What can you do? What type of projects can you build for your people? Like how much impact, positive impact does that have? And then we go into the sales playbook. I saw um, the other night, there's the coach playbook that came out of Netflix, but Expo Flores knows by the way that this syllabus was done a while ago. Yeah. So, so we have the sales playbook, that's pretty cool, right? And uh, sales mastery, and then like how to take action on all the 33 courses you had, how do you take action on that? And the cool thing of this entire syllabus, as you can see, there's a description, but we have for every course, there's an action tool of how to implement this in your business. And you know what's best of the training, Juanfer? Mm -hmm. What's the best? We track everything. The system allows for full accountability. The biggest problem that I always saw in coaching is that part of accountability. We measure everything you do on the program, and then we send a report every week, every month to, to the CEO, whoever needs to see that, to see like if the team is really applying it. And That's then cool. you have homework. Every month you have homework. So this is a whole other level of training because this is accountability in a digital way. That's great, Bart. I couldn't help noticing we have the logo of the Escuela de Floricultura here. Can you tell the public what this means? Yeah, well, look, you're the representative, you're the ambassador. I'll give that gift to you, right? You so you should. The owners. <laughs> so yeah, guys, if, if you guys subscribe, you will have the first four courses for free. So you can have a test of the course. You can see how it goes. You can meet Bart in these courses. And, and if you like it, you can keep going with us. If you don't, it's okay. You're the one who loses. <laughs> so take a chance. And I really encourage you guys to, to try it. It's an awesome course. And, we did actually a lot of background check on it and we're really proud of it. So try it, don't miss out. Cool, so, so let me go to that, right? If you try it, you can sign out and you can leave. Now here's the bonus from us, right? For everybody that signs up to this course, you get an extra free coachee. Now, how does that work? So everybody has the flower farms, right? And we work with thousands of people on these farms. All these people, what they care about most is their kids. So I've done this in the past. I did events for kids. Now on the same program of the Flower Cure, we're making a bonus for everybody who's signing up by the end of this month. So for when you sign up on the course, we coach your kids for free because of you, right? So that's going to be kids from 16 to 21 years old. We're going to make another program. We're building it already. Que es activa lo mejor de ti for the next generation, right? So if you sign out, then we have a problem. Because when you sign up, we start doing that. And when you sign out, they have to go. So, you know, talking about accountability, right? If you win, somebody else wins. And that I think is awesome. So that's the bonus of the day, by the way. A part of Expo Flores is giving this gift. Great. Now let's do some Q&As. Let's go. Shoot. Okay. Let's go with the first one.
Let's see what we have. Don't be shy, shoot, text it, text it up. People are texting right now. Okay, so, what, so the first one is. Go ahead. What about cargo agencies? What about cargo agencies? If you're in sales, do they whether work that's a provider of? Does it work for them as well? Does this yeah. Work? If you're in sales, it works for cargo agencies. It works for providers of of chemicals to your farm or whatever. Like if you're in sales, you're gonna get this. And actually, everybody within this industry. If you're in the box industry, like whatever that is, sign up because you need to know more about this industry. So yes, definitely. And by the way, you should sign up right now. Thanks for doing that. Awesome. Let's see the next question. If I Go Juan Fer, I'm listening. If I am from another industry that, that rather than the floricultural sector one, can I take the course? Yes, definitely. Like if you're in, let's say you're in the blueberries right now, or you're in the chocolate industry or whatever that's export, import, or even, even if you would have a shop that sells clothes, actually you can get on this course. You might get some information of the flower industry, might be, might be very helpful, but at the end of the day, like this is customized for the flower industry. The flower industry is huge, right? There's people that sell clothes to all the workers on the farm, right? The entire teams, they're dressed by people that make clothes. So if you're a provider for the flower industry, for sure you should be on there. And if even you just wanna start your small business, like let's say you don't have a company, you wanna start something yourself, this is a great way to start learning how to sell and how to give the best experience. So that word of mouth, goes to infinity and beyond. Great, let's go for the next question. Like if I would be in the restaurant industry, I would sign up. The, the scale or the... Uh, does, does the scale of the form matter? No, the scale doesn't matter. It's not about only growing your business. It's about optimizing your business. What if you have a small farm and you only have one sales rep that does the sales or maybe the owner does the sales like everybody can grow out of this i'm not going to say the word benefit because we don't want you to benefit we want you to grow from it and that will lead to results and when you grow and that leads to result your customers grows your team grows everybody around you grows by the way your providers they're happy too because you're paying on time that's great <laughs> let's see if we have another question next one What is the most important thing to you from a sales team? The most important thing for me, I would start with the three E's. For me, like I've a company I've worked with for a while, we've always had this, this conversation, right? And it's about having the right people on the bus. The way we filter the right people on the bus today, because maybe what we did six months ago was different. Now I really look to the attitude, right? And for those salespeople that are asking that question, in attitude, there are three key elements, energy, enthusiasm, and empathy. I have a couple of three E ambassadors, and maybe one is on the live right now, like congrats to you. But if you become a three E ambassador, like you attract buyers to your company, to your team. Like people want to buy that energy. People want to buy that enthusiasm. Because if you're not the super fan from your company, nobody else, is going to believe you like if you don't believe you work at the best company that rocks the world how are you going to be able to sell so you need the three e's so for me attitude is key and then you go into the skills and all that but the first thing i look for is attitude great next question is what do you look to form the right team i'm sorry what do you look to form the right team oh well there's a lot of things that go into that right um for example one of the things that we do is a disc analysis right, which is a personality test, because you can't put um, 
very enthusiastic people all together in the same room. That's too much. Or you can't put a, a type of personality that's an authority, right? Together with another one that's authority. So you have to mix it. So in the disc, you have the D, you have the I, the S and the C. And we try to shift them together because all these personalities, they look at the obstacles from a different angle. So when we put them together, we look for that. Um, with companies that we work now, for example, in sales, let's say you have a sales team of 10 people. Normally there's gonna be like three like extroverted and then there's gonna be another personality which is more of service. So we mix up the DISC personality to give like an easy short answer. You can look that up, DISC, by the way. Very interesting to learn on that, even with your customers. And we do that in the course. Great. Um, one question says, uh, if I take the, cur the course, the training, uh, will my sales uh, boost? Yeah. That, you you can, guarantee uh, boosting yeah. sales? So this is awesome, right? Like you can read all the best books in the world. And I think like now we're in the pandemic of information overload, right? Because everybody's searching everything everywhere. If you don't take action, nothing is going to work. So what we've done with this course, we made it so short, so easy to follow, frictionless, like I said before. You can do it on the go wherever you want, by the way. This is all like easy access. If you don't take action, that's going to be a problem. So what I would say on this course, it's so easy to take action. Like It's like giving a roadmap to someone. Like This is the way you drive to Pedernales, right? Just follow the road. And if you take every step, one step at a time, you'll get there. If you think that you're going to take two steps and be in Pedernales, this is not the course for you. It requires action, it requires effort, and it's going to stretch your limits. Sometimes you're not going to feel yippee right? That's the idea of this. The idea is to stretch your potential, to go deeper into your skills, and not fake it till you make it. We're going to bring out the best of you. So step by step, definitely guaranteed. But no two steps. It's going to be a lot of steps. Okay. <laughs> The next question is, should I take the course by, my, by myself or with my team? No. Oh, the course is made for the team, right? And let me explain why. Most of the people, they send one or two people from their team. They come back. Let's, let's say like, let's say you have five cars, right? But you only send two cars to the car wash. Now, all these five cars are really dirty, right? But you only send two cars to the car wash. You're still going to have three dirty cars. It's the same with training. If you send two people to get optimized, people think that leader comes back and really shares all the information. They don't have the time to do that, right? So we need to get everybody on the same ship so everybody goes for the same goal. Everybody sets the same standards and everybody's training with the culture of training. Everybody's talking the same language. So yes, the entire team has to be there. Okay. I have this saying, uh, I forgot how I say it, but, you know, um, the bigger the dream, the more important the team. So, yes, teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, the next question is, how often in a year we as a sales team should take these kind of trainings? All right, so this training is divided into three trainings every week. So every Wednesday, we're going to launch three. The program is for three months, right? And some are eight minutes, some are 14 minutes. So you do it every week, right? And we do it on Wednesdays because we know in sales in the flower industry, Wednesday afternoon is a good day to do that. And by the way, this has access 24-7. So if you wake up like I love to do, I love to wake up at two in the morning because I have an ID, you can train at that time right? So full access to the course. Now, what I suggest is when you do the training, the day after you do a simulation with your team, that's very important. And we're going to ask that simulation might be a simulation of five minutes or 10 minutes. But let's say like, I'm, I'm a business coach, by the way, I'm not a health coach, right? I'm a bit overweight. I'm a bit chubby, right? Probably a lot chubby, but you know, I love to eat, right? But if I would go to the gym once a month, I will never get that six pack, right? So if you want to have results, it's about the frequency, the time, the intensity, and the quality of the work. So that depends on the results of the training, referring back to the training. Shooting the next question. What do you recommend for having an excellent sales team? What do I recommend to have an excellent sales team? I would say that first thing, you need to know your why. 
Know the purpose. What are you going after? That's what, where I talk about that standard. And when I talk about the six stars and, and the wow, it's about that bigger purpose behind it, right? When that is clear, the impact that that generates to your team, to the buyers, to providers, when that why is crystal clear, like everybody's going to bring their best self to the game. But if that's not clear, and that's part of culture and the values and the purpose, that's not clear, like you're, you're going to end up somewhere else. Like you need to define where you're going, right? And that purpose has to be like, you got to wake up with that and you got to really want that. Because if you don't want it, you're not going to do it. Like that purpose has to be bigger than ever. Like this training program that we've built is way out of my comfort zone. I've seen things like, I have no idea, you know, how these tech people talk to me. It's like a different language, right? But the purpose is so big that I know that this will not only activate the best in people, it will activate the best of an entire industry. So that purpose, if that doesn't wake you up at three in the morning to send an email to your buyer, not that you have to do that all the time, but you know that that excitement that you have as a little kid, yeah, you got to redefine the purpose because you can't drive in a Ferrari or a Lamborghini at 320 kilometers an hour with fog. The road has to be clear and you have to know where you're going. Okay, um, next question is, should sales team be involved in collections? Ha, huh, that's a good question, right? If, and, and this is, this is, for me, this starts at another level. This starts when you select your customers, right? If you select the right customers and you set the right rules of the game, you don't have those type of problems, right? This is how I see it. You become what you tolerate. I'll repeat this again. You become what you tolerate. So over the years and over the decades, the industry has tolerated a lot of things. We didn't pick the right clients sometimes, right? You didn't set the right rules, you didn't clarify it, and you don't have the real processes into place as they should be, right? So it starts from the beginning, right? If you're, if you're like 50 kilos overweight after, well, there's a lot of things that led to that. For me, it starts with the selection of the customers, having clear rules, defining all that. But when you have it, you can re-educate your customers. And that's a part that I just read in the syllabus, educating your buyers. We have to re-educate them. You know, we've been tolerating a lot of things that we shouldn't tolerate. And it's not that we have to stop doing that, but we have to re-educate them in a kind way. And we have to make that education and experience so they want to absorb that information. I would say that's my answer to that question. But a good question, by the way. Typical okay. question in this industry. So congrats for that one. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a last question and then a, a suggestion. So I'm going to read both. Um, is there any chance to register by myself? No sales team to register, but I'm very inter interested in the program. Yes, everybody can register, right? If you really want it bad enough and you feel like nobody else wants to put you on this program, cool. Juanfer is your guy. Send him an email. What's your email, Juanfer? My, my email is jfmora at escuela de floricultura.com. So we'll, we'll see how we fix that up, right? But at the end of the day, we're looking for the companies and the teams to do this. But if there's people that feel like, let's put this example, right? Let's say you're working in the flower industry and your boss is not feeling it, right? He wants the best results, but he doesn't want to invest in you. That, that, that's a shame, by the way, right? So then we should talk about culture and communication and stuff like that and the vision. But if that's the case, you got the email, right? There's a link here on Expo Flores. You can send a DM or just put in the comments your name and they'll call you back, right? Yeah, for sure. We'll yes. be in touch. We'll figure it out. Um, well, now the, the comment we received was, I highly recommend Bart's course. Working with him is incredible. Bart helps you to, to be a better professional and a better human being. Bart's coaching and consulting applies to all industries. Do not miss this opportunity. Do it for your team. Dream work makes the dream. So that's, that's a awesome. Good. We have like some flattered right now. Like, it's nice to hear. I'm yeah. sorry. Who, who asked that? Who who gave that comment? Uh, the person is Doris Viviana Guerra Ramos. Yeah. All right. So that right there is my ambassador of three E's. Right. So everybody give a round of applause for her because there's like that's a special breed of people. So arigato gozaimas. <laughs> ah, and we we just received a question. It says, how will you control pricing for the industry? 
how would you control pricing for the industry? Well, I think that first the industry needs to sharp, the industry needs to shoot much higher, right? Like people have, there's this fear of asking the price and it's, it's a fear is because we lack, we lack the self-confidence, right? So as in an entire industry, we would need to redefine the standards, set new prices, not be afraid to ask it. But when you do that, you have to give an optimal service. You have to give a wow experience because without it, you can't. I can have like these beautiful shoes and I want to sell them for $500. If I don't give a great like six star service, like people are not going to pay it, right? So I would say like, if you want to go there, yes, everybody has to go there. I work with companies, you know, we, we go, going up in price, everybody's going like, oh, I need to, you know, get five cents more. It's like I said, the roadmap, it's one step at a time, it's one cent at a time, right? But for every cent, you need to improve something. So it's not, how do I ask a better price? It's what do we need to become as a company? How much better do we need to become in order to get those prices? You need to start wowing people. You need to take your customers to a whole other level. You need to make them a better company, be more profitable, optimize their processes. You need to be like their, their personal assistant almost for to do that. Because there's people, probably there's airline tickets right now on all different prices, right? But I guarantee you that the airline with the best service has the best price. Totally agree. Couldn't agree more. Okay, we're done with the Q and A's. So, yeah, from my side, thank you everyone for joining us today. But I have a question too. Okay, let's let's shoot for your question. Let's go. No, I would say I would say, how bad do you want to get better? How bad do you want this industry playing at another level? Ask yourself that question. Like, imagine that industry at a whole other level, like people from Apple, people from Tesla, they're starting to call Expo Flores to be like, hey, yo, what are you guys doing? Like, I wanna know, right? Because I want you all to start dreaming like bigger. And some of the people on here, I haven't seen the names going through because we're through Zoom and this all connects and other things. Some people are really setting really high standards. And even those, some even of clients of mine, we still know we can set the standards way higher. And why we need to do that? Because once we set the goals, so high that it scares us, then we need to figure out who do we need to become to get that. And, and it's the process of becoming your best version, the next best version of yourself, the next best version of your team, and the next best version of this entire flower industry. And that's something that right now just like gives me goosebumps because I know we can do that. We just need everybody to get on board on the right ship. We start, we have to start communicating better. We need to feel inspired when we wake up, not go to work and be like, oh, sometimes like this, like, oh, this industry and it's supply demand problem right now. No, 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 no. This is a beautiful industry. We ship emotions around the world. In the videos of the trailers we've launched before, there's the saying from Bill from Continental Farms that he says, it's our jobs to get more flowers in everybody's homes. And I believe that's true. Why? Because right now mental health is a critical aspect and flowers can help improve that slightly. But what if you improve slightly mental health every day by 1% at the end of the year, that's a big impact. And over a decade, that's another level. So us not getting better, us not training is very selfish. It's very selfish. Not that you have to buy the course. You can go anywhere else and look for courses. There's many out there, right? This one is customized for the flower industry, whoever's in the flower industry. But if you don't train, I do believe it's a selfish act. If you don't want to be better in the future, you're not thinking of the people around you. You're not thinking of the team. And I believe that here in this session we had right now with Expo Flores, myself, and many people connected here, a lot of us, we believe in that. So it's time to train. So that decision is up to you. So how bad do you want it? We'll see it when people sign up this week, right? We'll see it. <laughs> we'll check it out. And, and yeah, we'd guys. love to have you on the program. We'll so I'll, I'll leave the final words to Juanfit. Thank you, Bart. Yep. So people, yeah, enhance your teams. They ameliorate the, the 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 situation. The you know you can do it, and we'll have it. We'll be for you guys. We'll we'll be through the experience. Uh, La Escuela Floricultura and Bart. Uh, you know we you have worked with us some some of you, and and you know how personalized this can get. So, yeah, thank you again, everybody, for joining us today. Uh, we are really excited about this, and so 
and we know that you guys are, are as well. So if you want to see this as well, back again, we're going to have it in our Instagram posted and also in our Ex Expo Flores Facebook. Uh, and yeah, so remember, if you want to contact us, you'll have our, our contacts in all the websites, uh, Escuela de Floricultura, Expo Flores. Don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss it out because the sales experience is going to be epic. So that's from, from our side, Bart. Awesome. Well, I'm just going to sign out for thanks a lot to everybody on the team at Expo Flores. Thanks for everybody watching this. Your time is very precious to all of us. So thank you from the bottom of our heart. And we hope to see you very soon in the sales experience. Cultivating. Cultivating. I'm going to leave that up to Juan. Strategies that bloom. <laughs> Bam! That's how it is. I'm signing out. Have a great afternoon, everyone. See you soon in the course. Bye-bye. Bombs today, September 30th. Don't forget, people. Goodbye. <laughs>